Now why at the beginning do I say three, four, instead of doing the whole one, two, three, four? It's simply for practicality purposes. Now I've made a lot of videos on chords, even changing between them, but I thought today we would talk about something specific, and that's the rhythm and go as fundamental as possible. Because when we're talking about this type of music that we've been playing, we have something called bars and we have something called beats. So the beats are contained within the bar and you need to know where to count to, what numbers to count to, what it all means, how to count in and how to put it together because when you get a solid rhythm foundation, real basic, even if it sounds real basic, there's a certain order to things. When you get this certain order, later on you can get the strumming just right, the strumming patterns, because you've got the changes, but more importantly you've dialed in the simple rhythm. So let's get specific. We have a bar. There's four beats within the bar, okay? With most of the type of music that I've been covering. Now there's music my grandmother used to listen to, and that would be three, four time. That would be next in line in terms of commonality, but we're a little bit beyond that. <laughs> so we're going to talk about four, four. Okay. So four beats per bar. Real basic, and on the guitar we're talking about, acoustic guitar, down strokes on each beat. So we're going to make this E chord here on the Gibson, and we're going to simply strum four strums per bar. Now check this out. There's one, all right? See what I'm doing? following my lessons you realize that you count in you don't just start playing out of nowhere and a lot of drummers I think of the Ramones you'll think of one two three four and what they're doing is they're setting the pace but what I do in these lessons because the one two three four gets a little long-winded what I'll just say is three four and then you'll know because like I said counting to four You'll know that when you get back, you know when to start counting. You don't go to five, of course. You go three, four, one, right? Three, four, one, two, three, four. So you can even get out your guitar, and we can just practice that for a second. So get out your guitar, put down the E major chord, pause if you have to, and we'll go three, four, I know it sounds basic, but this is the foundational thing you have to master first because once you get the strumming patterns added in, you get all the advanced stuff added in. If there's no foundation, it's not going to be good. And I promise you that this is the order that you do it in. Okay, every time you say a number, you strum three, four, downstrokes, downstrumming with the right hand. Really simple foundational stuff. 